Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming part two of my shoe collection series and I'm going to be talking about my flats. Now I have eight pairs of shoes to show you here and while they make up the majority of my collection I definitely have a couple more um, that I've chosen not to include either because they're old and I never ever wear them um, or because they are really tatty and dirty and probably need throwing out but I just like to hang on to things just in case I want to wear them that one more time. Um, but these are my kind of favourite flats and the ones that I wear all the time so I'm going to start with ballet shoes because um, in the summer I absolutely live in ballet shoes and flip flops I don't have many other types of flats like actual shoe um, type shoes if that even makes sense like brogues or anything like that I just tend to live in ballet shoes I have one pair of trainers which I'm going to show you as well um, but anyway my first pair of flats which are probably one of my most well known ones in terms of what you guys have seen before are my Mark by Marc Jacobs mass flats these are the black paint patent version with the rose gold nose. I bought these when I was in LA in January and I've worn them so much since. I was so undecided whether or not to spend so much money buying these because I think they're about $200 which is around about £130 so it's the most I've ever spent on a pair of flats. I used to be of the opinion of like I'll buy the cheapest flats going like Primark, Topshop, like the most I used to spend on flats was like £25 ever and that was a lot for me. I'd be like the £8 ones from Primark and the £5 ones from Primark um, but what I've learned from buying these is that if you do spend a little bit more money they do actually last a longer time. I didn't think they really would um, purely because they don't really have too much of a substantial sole and you tend to walk a long way in them um, but I've actually worn these so much and they have honestly like they still look pretty much new apart from a slight bit of wear on the inside um, they look really really nice still and I chose the black ones because I think they're a little bit more subtle while I love the mouse the cute mouse design um, sometimes you want it to be a little bit more subtle than like totally like mouse in your face so I really love these ones there are actually um, a new style this season they tend to redesign the mouse flats each season it's kind of like a signature mark by Marc Jacobs thing um, they have these like metallic pink ones with gold studs like as the mouse eyes and ears in Liberties at the moment and I just oh my god they're 250 pounds though which is just crazy for these like for a pair of flats I think 130 is a lot but that is just crazy, but I still want them because they're amazing. Um, yeah, my second pair of flats are also some plain black ones, and these are a little bit newer. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell from the inside though because they are pretty dirty. Um, these are from Office, and they are a quilted black leather with a patent toe cap, and these are actually very Chanel-esque. They are kind of a copy of Chanel's signature um, ballet flat style, which is kind of why I bought them. Um, I really like the style, I think it's very classic. What I also love about these is that they're very, very soft, so they're actually very comfortable to wear. A lot of the time, if you buy flats and they are kind of a more structured shoe or made out of patent leather like these ones, they can take a lot of breaking in and can be really uncomfortable and give you blisters for quite a while. Um, but these are actually have been so comfortable right off the bat. I put them on the first day that I bought them and have worn them so much since because they're just plain. These are kind of my everyday go-to flats at the moment. Um, they weren't cheap. They were about £50. Um, but like I said, they are leather and they are just really, really comfy. So I definitely recommend... If you want some kind of Chanel looking shoes but you don't want to spend the money on buying Chanel ones, um, these are pretty perfect and they're really comfy. Another pair of ballet flats that I have to show you guys, and these are the one pair that I included even though they are filthy and I've worn them to death, are from River Island and they're the kind of banana like bendy ones which normally can be really really uncomfortable and I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, but these are a kind of like snakeskin effect um, white fake leather with a little suede bow on the front. I bought these, I think it was last summer, and I've worn them so much because they kind of fold up. I used to put them in my bag a lot if I was wearing heels and going to London, um, and they looked quite smart because they're nice and summery and white. Now they're really dirty, so I tend to just wear them if I'm not going anywhere nice, like if I'm running errands and stuff, but these have been so useful, and I definitely thought they were worth including because I've worn them a lot. And if you guys have seen a similar style to this on the high street, please let me know because I would love to replace these when they kind of finally get too dirty to even wear. Um, so yeah, those are my River Island flats, which I love. Uh, my other pair of flats that I really wanted to include in this video were my Kurt Geiger, or KG for Kurt Geiger, rose gold flats. I'm going to hold them up as if they're here. Um, if you guys have watched any of my Outfit of the Day videos, or if you watch my vlogs, I wear them the whole time. They are, along with my mouse flats, probably my most worn pair of shoes. Um, and I really wanted to include them, but I left them at my friend's house in Manchester this weekend, so... 
Um, I can't put them in this video, but imagine a pair of like shiny rose gold flats that are amazing um, right here. Uh, yeah, I love those shoes. If you've seen them, you'll know why. I love rose gold and they are just perfect. So, so my na last pair of flats are my um, very special ones, which I don't tend to wear very much because they are very delicate. And these are from Lava. Um, these were actually a birthday gift last or two summers ago and I tend to wear these when I go away so I tend to take them on kind of trips with me um, or if I have a smart meeting where I need to look smart but I don't want to wear heels then these are always my kind of go-to flats. Again the reason why I don't wear these so much partly because they are a nude leather which is it, the leather is so soft and beautiful I can't even tell you on camera it's just it's beautiful. Um, but they are the same banana -y style. The only problem with these is that they're not as stretchy, so they tend to cut into the back of my heel a little bit. They're okay to wear for a few hours, but if you're going to be walking like a long distance in them, um, they tend to be a little uncomfortable. They have this gorgeous kind of ruched silk bow on the front too, which tends to be very delicate, say if it rains. So another reason why I'm very careful about where I wear these, but they are my, like, they're so cute. I absolutely love these, and I keep them in their box nice and safe for special occasions. So they're my kind of best flats. Moving on to flip flops, um, I've mentioned these in a recent video so I'm going to get them out of the way. My Ipanema um, rubber black flip flops, these are fantastic, so comfy, easy to wear, rubbery, go with everything, I love them, um, definitely worth a try if you are looking for some new flip flops um, and you like Havianas, these are better, so much better than Havianas. Next up are my other most worn flip flops that I wore all the time before I got my Ipanema ones. These are from a company called Laid Back London and they are a brown leather with a silver kind of like beaded circle detailing. They're really really pretty and they're really comfortable. I've had these for about a year and a half and I've worn them to death. They're a little bit faded on the leather but apart from that they're still um, looking in really good condition so I really love these and if you see laid back London stocked in any shops I haven't actually like I, I don't know how big a company they are because I bought them from a local boutique but they are really really good company and I would definitely recommend their flip-flops if you see them and then the last pair of sandals that I have and these are they look pretty dirty but it's mainly because they are like white or nude leather these are a pair of sandals that I got from Office and as you can see they have these beautiful um, nude leather roses on the front or they're not actually roses they're more I don't even know what flowers these are are they camellias? I don't know they're flowers anyway and they're really really pretty like I said they look a bit dirty because if you're wearing open toed sandals um, that have nude leather like they're gonna get dirty under your toes so it's not the nicest thing to look at without shoot without feet in them but they're really pretty I bought these two summers ago um, from office I think they were actually really hard to track down in the nude um, but I think they may have reissued them this year in like different colors and stuff um, but I really love these I think they're about 50 pounds I tend to be kind of careful about where I'm wearing them so if I wear them on holiday I tend to not wear them to the beach because you tend to get dirty feet at the beach so they tend to kind of dirty up but I do really like these and I have worn them quite a lot as you can tell and then my final pair of flats are my only pair of trainers, apart from ones that I work out in. Um, these are the only pair of trainers or sneakers that I actually really own. Um, and they're from Adidas and they look like this. Now I got these almost five years ago. Mike actually bought them for me when we first started going out. Not when we first first started going out, but I think about four or five months in. Um, he bought them for me and I had seen them um, in the window of, I think they were from office as well. I'd seen them in the window and I'd just fallen in love with them and I never wear trainers but for some reason I absolutely fell in love with these and he bought them for me as a surprise and I just love them. I don't know why. They have this kind of like um, oriental like silk, I don't think it's actually silk, it's just material but um, design on them and then they have the three stripes in different colours of patent and then this turquoise patent strip around the edge. As you can see I have worn them quite a lot because they are a little grubby um, but I don't wear them as much as I would like. The reason being is that they're actually really narrow. While they're the right size for me, like they fit, the part here is very, very narrow and I find that it isn't that comfortable to actually walk in. Um, but I do love these and these are like my only pair of trainers that I own, so I had to include them. Um, yeah, but they're very old now so you won't be able to pick them up, but I hope you guys like them. And that's it for my flats collection. I hope you guys liked this video. I know I got a lot of amazing comments on my high heels collection, so I'm hoping you guys find this as interesting. I know high heels are 
a lot more glamorous than flats but I hope you all enjoyed this video keep an eye out for my boots collection which will be coming in the next few weeks and I will see you next time bye